Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a new technique using embossing folders. We're going to be using the Changing Leaves bundle. It's a hybrid bundle. I'll explain a little bit of that. Let's turn the camera around and get started. On my YouTube Live last night, which was actually September 29th, I told everybody that I would be doing a technique tonight, or today, Monday, with the Changing Leaves Bundle. Now this bundle, as I explained last night, is a hybrid bundle. We've not only got a stamp set with eight different images in it, we've also got an embossing folder and a set of dies that matches the embossing folder. So this is called a hybrid um, embossing folder. The dies go right in the embossing folder to cut and emboss at the same time. Now, while that's all really fun and I love these hybrid bundles, the technique we're going to do is a double embossing technique. So let me share with you the other items I'm going to be using. I've got a Cajun Craze ink pad. I've also got these Pecan Pie and Clear Ribboned Adhesive Backed Dots. My Essential Tools, my Take Your Pick Tool, my Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue, and my Bone Folder, as well as some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to bring in the Pecan Pie Center Striped Ribbon. This is one of our online exclusive products. My roll just came all undone, unglued here. But we're gonna use this as well as some vanilla cardstock. And I love this because it's kind of, um, it's vanilla, so it's going to match my project number one, but it's got that nice little tan strip in there that's gonna go nicely with it too. The cardstock layers I'm using are very vanilla. So I've got a very vanilla card base, five and a half by eight and a half, and I've already scored it here at four and a quarter. We're gonna use that bone folder to burnish that edge nice. Then I've got a layer of, whoops, hang on, Cajun Craze, I'm sorry, <laughs> Cherry Cobbler, and this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a layer of crushed curry that is three and three quarters by five, and then a vanilla scrap and a cherry cobbler scrap. And I actually have the wrong ink pad out here. I need cherry cobbler, hang tight. Found it, cherry cobbler ink. Okay, I've also got a vanilla envelope. So we're gonna be doing our technique on the crushed curry layer, and I'm gonna do that right off the bat. So with this technique, what you wanna do is you wanna take your more subtle embossing folder, which would be this plaid versus some bold leaves. So we're gonna take this plaid embossing folder. I am going to grab my die cutting and embossing machine. And because these are both 3D embossing folders, we're going to take off the clear plates and also the um, platform number one or number two. And we're gonna bring in that specialty plate. You need a specialty plate with these 3D embossing folders. Now, when I have a definite pattern, I always like to line up my cardstock along the line that is right here by the logo. So I'm gonna keep that in here nice and straight. We're gonna put that specialty plate on top and we're gonna roll that through. I just love this plaid folder. I think it is going to be fabulous for so many different types of cards, but isn't that pretty? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our more bold embossing folder. Let me get that little piece out of there. And now, let me start, let me get back here. We took this piece out of this folder like this. So that's um, the right side up and we're going to place it in the other folder the exact same way, right side up. And I'm going to drop that right in here and I'm lining it up with a line, but you really don't have to for this one because this isn't a definite pattern. I always like to put my embossing folders through my machine with the hinge 
going through first. I've been told that that will help keep that hinge in good shape. And since I've never had a hinge problem on an embossing folder, I'm gonna say that that's the correct way to do it. Now we're gonna bring out this beautifulness. Not only do you have these bold leaves in here, but you also have that plaid in the background, which I think is so cool. Let's make the rest of our card. I am going to do a little stamping here. We're gonna stamp on the inside. Now, I would love to use crushed curry to stamp one of the leaf images in here, but my crushed curry ink pad is out with one of my helpers. So, I am going to stick with the cherry cobbler. Otherwise, I'll show you my other sample that I have. I would have um, preferred to stamp these leaves in crushed curry. But you can see cherry cobbler is a beautiful, beautiful option. I'm gonna make this card a thank you card. So I'm just going to stamp that little thank you that comes in the changing leaves. There are eight different images in here. The thank you is one of them. I'm gonna set this aside for a moment. We are going to stamp the front with, you are amazing in every single way. And then I'm gonna grab my dies. There's like three different types of label dies in here, which is really nice. I always like it when they include those. Oh, hang on, I'm, something is stuck here, there we go. We've got the circle with the stitches on it. We've also got this long rounded end and we've got this one that matches up. I think that'll fit on the thank you. Let me see here. Nope, it's too small. So, oh, the here for you. There's a tiny little here for you and that matches up perfectly with that. There's also some other elements in here We've got a couple outline leaves. We've got this little sprig and also these leaves. So lots of great images that would complement the stamp set and also the larger die cuts. We're gonna use this long one, of course, because well, that's what fits here. And anytime I use a die like this where I've already stamped, I like to put some temporary tape on it. Um, a post-it note works fine, you guys. If you don't have temporary tape, you can take the sticky side of a post-it note and you can keep it in place like that too. So whatever works for you, washi tape, any of that. Hang tight while I run this through. Here we go. We're gonna take off that temporary tape. You can see I use my temporary tape over and over and over again. Get the most for my money there. And we have a post-it note. And I can use this over and over again also. And here comes our pretty little label. That's got that really nice stitching around the edge that just brings it up a notch. I think it's very classy. Now, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this scrap of cherry cobbler and my hybrid embossing folder and all I want is this leaf right here. So this sets right into place and you put your die on the inside of the side of the embossing folder that has the Stampin' Up! logo. And this kind of snaps into place. You can see that it's off and then boom, it's snapped right into place here. I just want this leaf. Otherwise you could cover this whole thing and die cut and emboss it. And again, I'm going to run this through my machine with that specialty plate. So we're gonna take these plates off again, bring in the specialty plate, hinge is going through first, make sure that you hold this in place so it doesn't come out of where it needs to be. Set right in there into that correct location, placement I should say. Here we go. And just like magic, we have 
an embossed and die cut leaf and it's perfect every single time, which I really love. Another thing that's neat about this particular bundle is that all of the stamps in here match these leaves. So this, this particular die matches this stamp, this particular, I should say pattern on the embossing folder, die cuts this particular stamp and the same with this one. Now these other ones are the extra pieces that are in here. And you can see they don't line up exactly, but these are die cuts that stand alone. So just so you're aware of that, I thought maybe they'd line up, but they don't. I don't, and there's no reason for you to do that because you're just gonna die cut this and it does a nice little outline for you. Let me see if I have any of those in here. I don't, but let's take a little, let's take a little scrap here and I will die cut those images so you can see them. Hang tight. I used Mossy Meadow to just kind of give you an idea what they look like. Mm. All the little bits and pieces, easy, easy to get them to pop right out. I could use my dye brush too, that makes it super simple. There we go. Look at how pretty those are. So those are the other ones. I do have some samples, some other samples that I've done in other colors. This is that little sprig, whoops. A little sprig done in gold, which is really, really pretty, very fancy. We've got some pool party here done with the other leaves. A little bit of berry burst. That's a fun color to use. So every time I die cut something and I don't use it, you guys, just a little tip for you, and I'm sure a lot of you do this too. You can't throw something away like this, right? Because <laughs> we're stampers and that would be like illegal. So I keep them right in here. And here's my leaves. We'll see if I'm gonna do anything with those. I hadn't planned on it, but you never know, right? So that's how these dies work. And we have several different, um, several different hybrid embossing folders. Let's see if Kelly can get it back in the envelope. Yes, she can. Yay, winning. Okay, let's keep making our card. And bring this back in here and we can put everything together. I'm going to add dimensionals. Ooh, look, a brand new pack of dimensionals. Gosh, I love it. I don't know why that brings me a lot of joy, but it does. Let's crack open a brand new pack. I think I'll put one in the middle too, just to keep it nice and sturdy. Here comes our layers. We're going to take that crushed curry layer. And anytime I use an embossing folder, I always like to make sure that I get some liquid glue around that outside edge because sometimes the embossing process makes it buckle a little bit. And I like my cards to be laid down like they're supposed to be. Good grief, I had my cardstock cut wrong. Sorry about that. Cherry cobbler layers, three and three, or I'm sorry, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and I had it cut wrong. So that sent me for a little loop. I'm like, why isn't this fitting? I have it all straightened out now. Whew, sometimes. Okay, card base. We're gonna take that piece of striped ribbon and we're gonna set it right about here. And I just use some regular old tape. So I've got it angled here like that. We're gonna take our sentiment label and we're gonna put that right about here. And here comes our cherry cobbler leaf. 
I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals here and I'm just going to take one of those because I know that my leaf is going to go right in here. I want to just put a little dimensional right there to help support the top of that leaf and keep it in place. So you want to make sure that you're not covering up your sentiment. There we go. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Our fun double embossing technique really adds a lot of dimension to the card, I think. And then you can see that we've got a bigger border on here with that card base. I was kind of going to see if this would, if we could do something with this. I, don't, I didn't plan on it, but as long as I die cut it for you, I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave those off. I'll tuck those in the back of my dies and use them on another card. And our envelope. I think I'll do the same thing on the envelope that I did inside the card with our cherry cobbler. I always like to have my envelopes match. I think somebody should open up their mailbox and see something pretty coming in the mail, right? Here is that finished card. And while I was doing my video, I forgot to put that little embellishment on there. And doesn't that just add a lot, right? So we've got our technique card. We've got our technique instruction sheet with the technique on it. And then I wanted to share with you a few of the other techniques that we have done. This is a telescoping technique with a little sample on there and a card made with that technique, which I thought was really unique. I've also got the debossing with blends and you can see the card that goes along with that. We've got a mirror stamping technique where we used one stamp and stamped it the opposite. And that was the card that went with that. Also cute, cute envelopes. Always like to decorate those envelopes. And then we've got the kissing technique where we used a solid, solid image and stamped a smaller image on it to make a pattern and the card that went with that. And then I have the spotlighting technique and a beautiful card to go with that. So each month, each of my Technique Club members receive the card with the instruction sheet. And then I also have some other cards to share with you. I talked about my Sunday Night Live. We made this beautiful card with the changing leaves. We made this card that uses that embossing folder, the Forever Plaid, with some bright colors. And then we use the stamps and the um, embossing folder and the die. So lots and lots of pretty with this changing leaves hybrid bundle. I absolutely love it. Now don't forget, you wanna click right down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You, once you subscribe, you'll get a notification when I have a new video and you don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. Also, you're gonna click right up here. That's gonna take you over to my blog where you're gonna find all of the ingredients I use, the names of the colors, the names of the products. Um, all the details will be there. I'll put the dimensions on there with pictures of the cards. And I think I showed you this already. This is the um, just kind of, this is a, the opposite almost, except instead of using Cherry Cobbler, I used Cajun Craze. So same exact card. And for this card, I actually had the Crushed Curry <laughs> ink pad here when I made it. So same card, just a little different color combination. You could make this in a number of colors that would be absolutely beautiful but I do love this double embossing technique. Now, if you are a part of the Stamp Happy Academy, this was a technique that I used on the September 2024 live class, Stamp Happy Academy Live Premium Members, and I used a couple different embossing folders, so you'll find some really fun ideas on there. If you've never heard of Stamp Happy Academy, it is a membership website for stampers. It is fantastic. Go there and check it out. Here is the um, website address, or you can just type in Stamp Happy Academy and do a search for it. It's pretty easy to find. If you'd be interested in being a part of the Technique Online Technique Club, it doesn't matter where you live in the whole country, you can join. All it requires is a minimum $25 order each month from me to get all of these goodies. You'll find all the details and a link 
on my blog, also below this video. I will put the link in there for the Online Technique Club. And thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.